But love, you know, it's a big people thing. But love a ramping shop time that's lit. <laughs> some um, couples Q&A so if some you know through the relationship we've been through different situations ups and downs um, getting to know each other so um, some questions that we never asked each other before never got to so I'm just like curious to hear what her answers would be likewise yeah I'm curious I, to hear. you know she's curious to hear my answers so we have some Q&A's and we're just gonna go through them so here we go so um, first question what did you think when you first met me? Oh my god. <laughs> so, backstory. We met each other in Jamaica. Um, and I was starting a new job at a hotel, a corporate hotel in Kingston. He was already working there. So my first day um, when I met him, he was the bellhop at, standing outside like a statue with his hand well poised back push back and I was just like I was always outside you were outside yeah you were outside right. you were outside you were standing outside and I was just like who's this gay chocolate dark skin guy who this looks well polished he was well polished nails them were like well like cut down and he's very poised and pants was seam and all these different things and just skin just even I'm just like who's this dark skinned handsome guy but he's probably gay that's what i first thought mm -hmm. when i saw him because he just looks so man take care of himself and gay eh? so I don't start, like <laughs> rough i did i'm sorry that's what i thought but i thought he was very handsome i thought he was very cute i did what about you what did you think when you first saw me oh when i first met her um well i didn't have any so when i first met her she came and um you know, you know, in Jamaica, we have a look at theory, we have a look at vibe. I say, oh, this light skinned girl come in, flying and thing. She has come with attitude. I say, I'm gonna make. I she feel like. Attitude. No, but I'm, but I'm telling myself that you're coming there. She's gonna have an attitude. Oh, and then I have light skin. Same she light skin and she has one. She nice. And I say, oh, you know what? I'm gonna show this girl I'm not thirsty. So, attitude and make sure that's no ourselves. So we're not thirsty around here. You know, I'm mean, a celebrity, but we're not fight fight. But so. nobody never had look nobody. But I'm just saying that's 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 what happened when I first saw him. Like this girl, he's gonna basically ignore me and make me not feel like what he thinks that I feel about myself. Yeah, whenever whenever gonna make you feel like say, oh, she the she the cats me and all them stuff. So that's that's. And I that's, was minding my own business. <laughs> I I had no attitude, but that's what he was telling yeah. himself. So that's but what I was telling myself. Syndrome, you know, which I don't. When I make you feel like say, we're thirsty. All right, next question though. Um. So. Who's more patient in your relationship? Him. I, mean, I don't have no patience. Like, because my mind is on so many things at once, and he's more like one thing at a time, yo. Yeah. And it's like everything at once, please. Yeah, she so. wants everything at once. She wants to find a new plan for Willy Fun. She want, <laughs> you know, everything at once. Um, whoa. Who's the kid's biggest scapegoat? I feel like it's you. I'm gonna feel like are you? No, I feel like it's you. Well, it depends. I feel like you're the biggest scapegoat. Oh, why is I that? I feel like I'm a little bit. So, because sometimes you'll say to me, say, that's too harsh, you're too rough, or then when you forget such a harsh discipline, me, I think me are more disciplinary than you, know? But in terms of like what they think that they can get away with, I don't. I think I'm more lenient, mm -hmm. but I think. We don't let them get away with like. Well, yeah, I'm more. Well, yeah, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I would be more. Mommy scapegoat. more than me. Yeah. No. I'm, no. No. Yeah. Yeah. I no. say no less. Yeah, I say no more. Yeah. Um. Next question. Who's more affectionate? In we probably the relationship? have to ask the kids this question, really and truly. But yeah. But continue. <laughs> Who's more affectionate in a relationship? He is. Yeah, no. He's. It's, it's a struggle for me, you know. but he's more affectionate for sure. Yeah. Like it's rough over on this Members side. Members only. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Sweet, you know. All right. 
What's the most romantic thing your partner's done for you in a relationship? That you've ever done for me? Yeah. Um. Oh my gosh. He likes to surprise, to surprise me. Romantic thing that I he's ever done. This tall and people say, "Ah, oh, Shafa, go into the the most memory bank. Too much." Can't oh see which God, one of them. Don't no, forget. Um, I'm gonna come up with the most recent. So he's the type of person like he listens. I can like simply just be talking and grazing over something that I'd like to do, and literally like after I'm done talking, he he's gonna go online to see how he can make it happen. Um, I think I'm just gonna go with the most recent thing, the most romantic thing and I think there's probably better ones than this one was for my birthday last year when we went to Niagara and we went to that rotating restaurant um, just looking over the city and the waterfalls um, that was pretty romantic but I know that there's probably more than that more subtle one but that was like an expensive restaurant and the restaurant was rotating and, and that was in Niagara there there is one the rotating resi the restaurant in Toronto but we went to Niagara and we were there and we had a good meal the food was good mm -hmm. I thought that was very romantic and just looking at the waterfalls at night changing colors your turn <sighs> I'm not romantic yeah most romantic thing I would say it was for my birthday again um, it was a couple years ago, I can't remember which year it was, but um, I got an old spa treatment. So she did my feet. Oh, yeah. Um, she did my feet, pampered me down, um, cooked me my breakfast, my lunch, my dinner. I got milk throughout the whole day. I was just oh, completely God. pampered and taken care of. So that's the, ro the most romantic thing that she's done for me. And I felt like I was at a, a, a legit spa. My feet was in water, being soaked, all those things. It was, it was cool. I really enjoyed that. Oh. Yeah. Um, who's more romantic in the relationship? He is more romantic. Yeah. I already answered that yeah. question. By far. <laughs> okay. Um, what's your favorite thing to do with your partner? Um, the favorite thing to do. Not that we like, but you like, you, you, you like. I like, I, I really enjoy watching movies together. We do that a lot. I really enjoy watching movies together. And um, just getting up and being spontaneous and doing, just doing whatever. Okay. Yeah, I, I enjoy time together. Yeah, I would say the same. I enjoy time together. So... Me, you don't know, man, I'm really kind of militant with watching certain stuff, but you know, we I watch 90 Day Fiancé and Love and Hip Hop, so I'm kind of get for real like that now. So I'm I don't even watch Love and Hip Hop anymore because it's trash now. But yeah, like he would, he doesn't mind watching those stuff. Are you bring me on point? I'm like, you know. Well, that one that we watched the other day is not normally what it's like. Yeah, it's but that one, didn't, that one did nice though. Yeah, that one was good. That yeah. was a good one. So I like watching couple stuff with her. So like, yeah. Yeah. You know, Literally see, you know, you can be, couples. yeah, or can be more spontaneous, more fun, and just like communication. I like, I like watching couple stuff with her. That's really, yeah. it, it brings out a softer side in me, so I like it. Yeah. Yeah, it's very rough. Um, <laughs> um, who's more outgoing? I think we're both very outgoing. I would say I'm more outgoing. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm more outgoing for sure. I'm a, I have my times where sometimes like, you know, I'm going to like, want to say yeah. that, so yeah. Yeah, you're I have a friend. balance of different different things, um, so I, I would say I'm, I'm, I'm very outgoing, yeah. but he's also outgoing as well, but yeah. So what, what dish do I make that you like the most? Oh my gosh, his cooking has come such a long way, I feel like he's competing with me now. Um, favorite dish? He's, he's really good at like doing a lot of nice baked oven stuff like the barbecuing in terms of barbecue sauce I would say on the grill but whatever he puts in the oven like in the oven it take the, the sauce he's mastered making sauces like anything that has 
some barbecue sauce or whatever sauce that he's making um, but he's good at cooking like he's come a long way so I can't even choose but I would say some Sunday dinner good in soup come a long way that's good so I if I had to choose I would say it is like anything that go in any meat that go inside of the, the, the oven um, it's really good yeah. So your favorite meal, she she make seafood pasta. I'm love when she make the seafood pasta. The one with the shrimp. But like my like how she do the sauce and, and thing. I don't know. Oh. I know, I know, I try to watch her when she cook. Because I know, I interrupt the magic. So I'm like leave her and she just think about me and cook. I'm just surprised. So <laughs> whatever she put in the, 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 the seafood pasta, I like that thing. The, 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 the shrimp one, I love it. I might think okay. that I like it. I like that. Okay. All right. Um, what do you miss the most when you are away from your partner? What do I miss the most? Oh, I feel like we're always together. Um, what do I miss the most? I just, I don't know. I guess it's just really just the presence of the person. Really, that's just what it is. There's nothing like... It's like stand out every single day or whatever, but the presence, the presence of the other person, and that I could just tell the kids, go on, go on to your father, or call him to come and talk to his kids. <laughs> <laughs> I think that's really it. Me, what I miss the most? Well, overall, I just she's the way I miss her because I, you know, she's my calmer, calmer half. Like when she's around, I'm not as flustered or panicky or anything I'm, I'm more calm when she's her own but what i love is observing her as a mother with the boys i love seeing the interaction and knowing that this is the mother of my kids and my kids you see that mother motherly love and comfort when they're with her i love i love observing her and the boys so that's no, what i, I miss the most that. yeah so that's what i that i miss the most when you're not because me do my thing but Daddy love different, mommy love different. When I love observing her doing her mother thing, so that yeah. mom miss that one. And the kids they miss it too, you can realize. Even if oh, she just gone at the grocery store. Or mommy did. You know, like so. Oh, I think it's the same way if you leave with the kids. Yeah. They, they like to they like to know where we're gone and how long we're gonna come back, how long it's gonna take. But I think we comfort and nurture differently. Yeah, I think I they, they know that sure. and they appreciate that. So me love observing you and do it. Yeah. So. I mean that's just the energy of our sex, male and yeah. female energy. All right. Who's more of a morning person? Not me. Not me. Mm -mm. Early, my intense. Yeah, but I would have. Sometimes they're on a five o'clock routine. Sometimes they're on a six thirty routine. I'm up, I'm ready. I'm just yeah. They start boom, bang, bang. I'm not a morning person. She's not a morning person at all. Okay. Uh, mm -hmm. Midday, check her around one yeah. o'clock. Yeah, but them time left. Yes. <laughs> um. What's the sexiest thing or what do you find most attractive about your partner? You start first. Me start I'm first. always starting first. I know starting. Um, the most sexiest thing about you. There's so much though. Where do I start? Jesus. Ooh, yeah, there's so much. Yeah, where do I start? The list goes on. It's rough. Well, first of all, is your natural beauty, your face. Like so me personally, she likes to put on her hair and all them something. Me not like when she put on the ear, my vex, my cross. My angry. wings and weaves. Yeah, mind you, some of them and look braids. good enough. Yeah, mind you, some of them look good. But I love this. I love her natural, yeah, natural. every day, all day of the week. I might think that one thing. My she don't need no makeup. My look, she, that's not the thing, woman. She don't need nothing at all for put on for enhance anything. She beautiful just the way she is. So I love the naturalness. I love. Love the natural beauty. So that's the sexiest thing for your naturalness. Oh my god, I'm blushing. Um so, <laughs> Let's see. What else? My love, you know, it's a big people thing. My love a ramping shop time. That's lit. <laughs> that's is that a but that's me, it's kind yeah, of most sexiest about? thing or most attractive or so sexiest thing. My sexiest thing. thing is my pum pum? Whoa. So, my love a ramping shop time, so it's just the whole activity from oh, okay. start to finish. It, you know, I just guess. The old thing. I'm gonna cut that part out. Yeah. So, but your 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 beauty is um most attractive about you. What is attractive about you is your heart. You are a very meeting sometimes. You're too compassionate. 
and it's just across the board just overall she's a very kind loving person so you know me more rough and draw a line and militant and draw bricks where she tend to see the softer side and you know more more compassionate she's more compassionate than i am understand. and understanding so i admire that and sometimes just observing a situation and how she interact and how she speak um i i there's a there's a huge admiration towards that because i'm not that person i i you know you, you know you, you you are who you are right so i have deep admiration for her compassion and how bigger heart is so those are the two that's sexy to you yeah that is sexy to me hey. yeah it is sexy when someone can be compassionate and loving yeah so that is okay that is sexy thank you yeah. thank you um with him he's very he's handsome i think he has like unique features i love his complexion i'm you know i i i like his body his physique I'm like he can bottom like sometimes when he walks past i ask him to put it in my hand you know try to be pg kids don't watch this but um i like the fact that he knows how to fix things like he's not afraid to go and fix stuff like he's very handy i think that's very sexy on a man is that he is into like oh that needs to be fixed let me go fix it if i don't know how let me go find out how let me you know do this whatever i love the way how he is with the kids i think that's also sexy um oh, what else yeah i think like that's that's for the most part like i just like to observe him as well i like to watch him do his thing i love to see him cook i just love all him. he's a do he's somebody that is a doer for the most part in in he's not afraid of like taking risks with certain things some of this stuff that i'm just like don't please don't take a risk there but i like the fact that he thinks for himself i like the fact that I like all those different things. I like in his body and in him and the fact that he does things and he's not afraid to do things around the house. I really enjoy, especially looking at him cooking the kitchen. I like that. I like seeing that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. hey, just, just my, you know, my Avulpa feels, you know, we get enough costume on top of all of the risk here. Some of the risk him is a complete snowball. So I'm just want to put out there. So nobody go go and take the bag of risks yeah, and feel the same type of A lot of his risks, I'm like, uh, no. But he's yeah. willing to like. It's to good to try. Think and try. Yeah. A lot of them, I'm just like, chow. Why did I let you try that? Yeah. But yeah. Um, who loves their belly the most? I don't know. I think you win. I thought it was no, me. No, my. Think it's me? Yeah, I think I'm. I'm. I'm greedy. I'm, I will eat more in any okay. one sitting, but she, you know, likes different things. Yeah, she, if she got fair appearance, oh, she have to check the fridge. Food, I feel, <laughs> she have to pack a container. <laughs> she have to check. If she have to eat food, me would, me would like, oh, I'm good, I'm all right. She not it's such all right. She I mean, such... come on, if it was your appearance, how was, like, really and truly? But I think overall, you love food more than I do. I okay, eat fine, a lot. I, I do. I'm not, I do love food. I love, I enjoy different types of food. And if I'm at my parents and I'm not cooking the food that they're cooking, I'm making that, like, I'm packing up. If I go to my auntie's house, I'm packing up. Yeah. If I'm leaving a party, I'm packing up. Yeah, you're so there. you're right. Yeah. I, I think I love my belly more. In my house, in my children, they will eat as much in a one sitting. But I think overall, collectively, no man, she has food here more than, way more than me. Yeah, um, I have to trust your cooking though, by the way. <laughs> Just to put that out there, I have to trust your cooking. So, who's more competitive in the relationship? You think that I'm more competitive? What? Jesus. Yes, from start to finish. She more Why are you saying that? We are both, so? We're both competitive, but you're more competitive than I am. Sometimes we are competing. Yeah, sometimes we are competing. I'm not even going to say we are competing. <laughs> I don't think that I'm more competitive. She's way more competitive. She had William, she named Serena Williams, <laughs> Lionel Messi, Cristiano Ronaldo. All of the, all of the athletes, them in our one. Why do you say that I'm more competitive in the relationship? Because you, you compete more. You, her end goal is to, to win. <laughs> her yeah. end goal is to win. Uh, like, okay. if we're doing, she wants to make sure that. She is number one, which she and she already is, 
But overall, if we're so she wants to make sure you're she's right. number one. Yeah, you're right. I don't even give my kids a chance. Yeah. Like if I'm playing somewhere doing something, I don't feel sorry for you. Yeah. I'm gonna if you're not putting your best effort, mega win. Mom, you always win. So you're you're right, you're right, you're yeah. right, you're right. Okay, I agree, I agree, I agree. Yeah. So that wraps it up for our Q and A. Yeah, guys. If you guys have any questions or if you have any questions for our, another Q&A that we can actually do, you guys just send us some questions and put them in the comment section below and we can save those questions for another Q&A um, video. Yeah. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. And Thank if, you guys again for supporting. Yeah. And if you guys, is there, if there's anything that you guys want to see us do, yeah. please drop it in the comment section. We're not... Scared to run risks, let us know. We'll try it out. Yeah. So, you know, yeah. Yeah. So, guys, thanks for watching. Like, comment, share the video. And don't forget to subscribe. There we go. Later, guys.